Exactly. Sorry? Something Beautiful. Unexpected. Excellent. Something unexpected. That punchline is you're not ready for it. Beautiful. Thank you, Mark. Something unexpected. That's what makes a joke funny. You see, there's this, um, we're all not old enough for this, but many people, not so much in our communities, but they go to Florida when they turn 65, especially when they see the first flake of snow, they're called snowbirds. Snowbirds. They leave New York and they fly down to Florida. You know what they do? Have you been there? You know what they do the whole for the next four months? Nothing. Fishing. That's men. Come on. They play golf. They play golf. Now, playing golf is very deep, Kabbalistic stuff going on. A rich man's sport. Yes. I'm still not rich, so I can't play golf. Can you play golf? No, I'm not rich, I said. It's a rich man's sport. <laughs> You can't play golf because they play golf on Shabbat. There you go. You know, they, you know they, they say the guy, what do you call it, play golf on Shabbat. Well, the guy was, who's, um, he, um, When you got money, you can play golf any day. I'm sorry? I said, on Tuesday, too. Any day. Right. The, the, fe the fellow who, who uh, yeah, no, is playing golf the whole week, the whole week he's playing golf, the whole week he's playing yeah, golf, and finally, he's getting better and better, but he really wants to get like you know, that hole in one, that, that, that amazing, what do you call it? He plays and becomes your keeper. He goes to the golf course, doesn't care. I'm your keeper. What do you call it? He, 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 uh, he, uh, he plays golf and he gets that hole in one. He's about to go to his friends and brag, but he's ah, oh, God, oh, you, 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 what do you call it? You have to do I'm your keeper. I couldn't tell my friends I did it, it happened. I couldn't show anyone. So this, this group of friends are playing golf in Florida. And after golf, they go out for lunch and play cards. Golf, lunch. Cards. It's like a certain order. It's like, you know, you pray. It's very Kabbalistic stuff. I mean, deep stuff. And during lunch, they say jokes to each other. After a while, how many jokes do you know? Look at them. Three, four, five. Okay. Three, four, five. Couple. A couple. The person knows how many? A hundred jokes max. I mean, how many jokes can a person know? A hundred jokes. So they knew together as a group, they knew a hundred jokes. And they would say joke, <laughs> laugh, say no joke. After a while, it was, you know, it was just taking too much time to say these jokes. So they created this new system. New system. They knew their jokes already, so they created this new system where instead of saying the joke, they would just say joke number 21. <laughs> joke 21. Ah, he's talking And then after they said that, another person would say joke 37. Oh, he'd slap him on the back. Unbelievable laugh again. After they after finish that joke, the next the third person would say, joke 11, 11, that was the best, they would laugh. That's what they do every single event. <laughs> joke 15! <laughs> and then, I didn't say the punchline yet. <laughs> and then, a new person comes in. A new guy, he sits in the group, he talks about them, he really enjoys. Yeah, I understand. Unbelievable. Go out for lunch. And then all of a sudden someone says, Joke 77! And everyone starts laughing. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes later, Joke 36! Again, they're all laughing. And he's like, But after all, he gets, he gets it. He gets it. You say a number, and everyone laughs. <laughs> so he wants to get into this. <laughs> joke 41! When everyone's saying numbers, when everyone's saying numbers, you're all laughing. I say a number, what do you call it? You're not laughing. They create say, it. Say, you have to know how to say a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you see, a joke is <clears throat> about the unexpected, about the surprise. It's about putting sometimes two opposites together regular story, and then something unexpected comes in at the end, putting two opposites together. You see, is marriage about you knowing me, or is marriage about me knowing you? 
of both knowing each other? I said, you know, the one level is, into me see. I'm going to allow myself to be known to you. Is it about you knowing me, or is it about, that I know you. Which one is it? The joke is about putting them both together. How? Why was Yitzchak laughing with Rivka? Because Yitzchak understood. And when I make space, when I make space for someone else, when I allow someone else into my life, but as a person, I'm actually getting to know myself too. How is it possible? You see, when I express my ego, when I express my ego, I'm pushing you down. I'm pushing you away. I'm pushing you out of my circle. But when it comes to husband and wife, because, because a husband and wife are really two halves of one soul. When I get to know you as my spouse, and I make space for you, my other half, I'm actually getting to know my true self. So Yitzchak and Rivka were laughing because they found the deepest type of relationship where they understood the laughter was mathematically. One plus one equals two, but they were laughing because they understood one plus one equals two. And so, may we continue to laugh together. And may that laughter be contagious. Amen. Come on, you with me, I'm expecting that with it. Sorry, I'm expecting that with it. laugh. That is um, this week's class. And um, again, it's about. Understanding there's more, there's more, there's more to this than what I have. Whatever you have, I'm sure it's great. I can always take it to the next step. A great week, and only good things for me.